Hello guys, so I'm going to teach you another way on how you can collect leads using Google Sheets and this really attractive landing page. So I gotta provide you with the complete tools that you can use. It's all free in this video. Then you can apply it in your affiliate marketing here in 2025. So it could be handy for you if suppose this is the right use case for you. And this one is going to be helpful because all the leads will be added in Google Sheet and I will show you this we get on how you can create a really beautiful landing page. So let's get started. So this site right here, I'm going to put the link in the description below. At the moment, if you have a free account, you can create one widget. But I think that's good enough. Just in case you wanting to create more, then you can upgrade. But for the time being, you can use one widget. This is very nice, guys, because when you create a widget right here, so let's create a widget. And here, this can be used as your lead magnet or to collect leads. And all of these will be saved in your Google Sheet, which I'm going to show you. So let's take this template as an example, but you can select a variety of templates here. Let's say, for example, you want to offer this one and a discount code, or you want this another type of lead collection. But this one is my favorite. So let's continue using this template. So for example, you want this and let's go ahead. By the way, guys, you need to have a website for you to be able to integrate this. But if you don't have a website, don't worry. You can use freepage.pro to integrate this right here, which I'm going to show you. So just keep watching. So let's say, for example, you have a niche right here all about, let's say, solar panel or offering solar panel. And you want to have, let's say, a new year special deal. And then you want to keep this get 30% discount. And this one is uh, you can change as well. So let's go back and change the heading of this one. Get 30% discount all solar panel. Okay. This is going to be your form. This is going to be your attractive form. Let's say this is your product that you're trying to offer and you want to collect leads. All right. Now we publish this. Just watch guys because I'm going to show you how you can integrate that to a free landing page, which is this free page that pro. Now, once you save that, can go back again to dashboard and here this one right here you can click this more action and you can click this embed code okay what's gonna happen if you click this copy code right here you go to a free page and create a new landing page all right so here let's do we are creating a landing page for our product which is solar panel let's say uh this is our brand ecoflow which is you know popular brand when you are setting up a solar panel and then a path name okay E flow something like that so this is just going to be an example so in this case to be able to display our landing page pretty easy i'm just gonna select this article section as yes i don't want the bullet section keep it no and here we're gonna keep the button text here as blank because we will be using this custom cta okay QTA means you will be able to paste the code right here which we copied from this elf of site.com where you can able to get this beautiful form that makes your landing page more attractive, right? And can capture more leads. So here, paste that right there. Just keep watching guys, because I'm gonna show you how you can integrate that with your Google Sheet. So let's save this offer for now, all right? So let's see whether we are able to see that landing page. So we view that landing page right there. And look at this guys, automatically, you are able to send this URL right here, because if you go to all landing page right here, so this is exactly what you're going to distribute to all your store or this is where you're going to send your traffic. Okay. You don't need to set up a separate WordPress or any complicated landing page. All of this will come here in just single platform, which is this free page that pro. Okay. You can distribute this URL and they will land up to this beautiful landing page right here using this elf site.com. Okay. That's not going to end there because if they close this, we just have a blank landing page. Okay. Kind of want to have this more attractive. So let's keep editing. So you go to edit. So let's ask one. Let's add some more details here in our landing page, which is very easy. 30% discount here in the top bar. Solar panel. Okay. This is the team color of our landing page here. When you select CTA, the team color will be uh, hidden so what you're gonna do is temporarily go to normal and this is the highlight color so this is where exactly the theme color we need to change all right so let's say we're gonna choose blue uh like this this is just an example okay now after that we're gonna select our um okay what we're gonna do here since we are just showing you see we're just showing the article section right here we can ignore this bullet section and go straight to the article section we put our heading here so our heading will be so we can have something like light up your off-grid using EcoFill solar panel, something like 
that depends which product you're trying to offer. So we make that as H1 because that's how the heading should be. It should be in heading uh, heading one or H1. So you can highlight some text here just by clicking this one. Oh, so it will change the color accordingly based on the and that you selected right here. Okay. Now you have some article text. So let's just put some right here in dummy text. So as you can see right here, I'm just adding some dummy text. All right. Now all these texts will come on the right of the image. So if you want to have an image here, so let's grab some solar panel image here. So our landing page will be looking more nicely. So you go to manage images and here you just upload some solar panel. Um, if we can add in our landing page, so I'll do that. Okay. This one will be our image. So I can just grab this name, copy that, come back to the editor page and scroll down right here to the image. I'm going to add the image name just like that. And here you're going to use this split so that some of the text will be below the image. So maybe let's put it right here and save this. All right. Now let's view our landing page. Let's refresh this as you can see right there. So we have this pretty nice image right here. So we can make that bigger, but this is just an example. Now here we have to put it back to custom CTA because as you can see, it becomes just a normal landing page. So custom CTA so that the form will again appear. So let's refresh this and you can see right here, immediately the form appears. All right. Now, what if I close this and there's no way that they can trigger the form again. Now, what you're going to do, we will add a button right here. We will add a custom button since we are using this custom CTA means custom call to action. So if you want a quick way to get at design of your button, come over here to secret circuit AI that online. And here you find this button samples and you can scroll down right here. So you can copy any button right here, any button design that uh, you descend. So let's say for example, um, this one right here. So let's try this. So I'll just click that and I copied. So when you go back to the editor, what you need to do is enclose that with style. So I'm going to uh, enlarge that. So enclose that with style tag and paste the button right there. All right. So you will have this entire code. Make sure you don't get confused. So this tab one is from the CTA, the ELF site, which is the form that's rendering in the page. And this one will be the style of our button. So this will become this button 44 right here. All right. Button 44. Oh, sorry. This style should be here below this rendering of the button because this is our button right there. So the style tag opening should be here just like that. Okay like that. So if you're confused, just keep, uh, you can repeat watching this video. So this is our tag right here. Now the important one here, you need to add ID because that's what we're going to configure later. Button, so let's say button 44, same as uh, the class name. So that's our ID. We will need this ID. Okay. Here we're going to change the tag. So let's say open me. Okay. And have anything like inquire now or opt in now and things like that. Any type of text that you feel that your visitor is going to click. So this ID right here, the button dash 44, we will use that. So now let's save this. And when I again, go back to my page and click this, look at this. Now I have, even if I close that, I have my button right here open me, but that's not gonna do anything because here I need to configure this form right here. So you go to edit. And here in the settings, you scroll down, you can see these triggers right here. So click that and here disable the on page load. If you don't want the, this form to be loaded once the page opens, now you can have this on click enabled. So the element ID will be the button 44. That's why I'm telling you that you will need that ID in that button that you added. Okay. Now publish this. Now again, go back to our page and refresh this. Okay. So you can see it didn't load, but when you click this, Look at this, guys. This is our form now. It's more attractive. Now, when someone opt in here, this is what you're going to do if you want to save everything in your Google Sheet. Now, going back to the configuration here. So in the settings again, what you're going to need to do is go back to this one right here, Builder, right? In the Builder, you click this form right here. Click the form, click that, and you will see these integrations. So when you click that, you will see this guy's Google Sheet. That means every time we trigger or we enter, someone enters their email here, it will get captured in our Google Sheet. So let's connect that. So here, once you have connected 
this to your uh, Gmail account. Now, what you're gonna need to do is click this view spreadsheet. It will automatically create a separate spreadsheet in your um, Google account. So you click this and you will see right here, this will be your form, Elfside form responses. So all the email will be added here every time they opt in. So let's try that. So let's go back to our page right here. And let's say I'm going to enter my email. So I'm gonna refresh this page right here and I'm gonna click this and enter my email. So now I'll take this count and there you go. Your message was successfully sent. We will reply to you shortly. So you can customize everything, even the message right here, just by going to all the settings configuration right here. Now, what I wanted to see, if it gets saved to our email right here. So let's view this spreadsheet. Did not send, it did not save yet. Why? Because you have to publish it. Every time you do some changes, you need to publish. So let's publish that. All right, let's publish. So I can, let's go back to our form. Let's refresh this and again, enter a sample email. Okay, let's check. And there you go. As you can see, sample123 at gmail.com. It was collected and there's also a date when it was collected. So that's how simple you can integrate this in your website or if you don't have a website in this free page that pro and then collect all the leads using your Google Sheet. And of course, you can get traffic just by, you know, creating contents here in your Reddit. So you can send traffic to your landing page. So your landing page URL will be this one right here. So you can send traffic just by creating meaningful contents here. So you can create a community or what we call the subreddit right here. Then you can create the same content as so like I'm doing right here. For example, this one right here. So as you can see, this one, even if you created this the first time you create, you immediately get traffic. Whenever you create a content just like this and link your sample, this one, your landing page URL, so instantly you'll get traffic here in subreddit. I'm doing automation in, that's why I continuously creating content right here. For example, my best cooker right here, this best cooker for I'm creating contents every day. And let's say, for example, this tiny house right here, I'm also consistently creating content. So every time you post contents right here, it immediately gets traffic. So for example, this one, 126 traffic gathered by just this post alone, and this will get rankings on Google as well. So if you want to learn more about how we're gonna automate this subreddit and create automatic contents, the link is in the description below. So you can have your landing page link or whatever link you want to promote here in your Reddit. So hopefully guys, this tool will be helpful for you with this free landing page, this free uh, pop creator using Elf site. So I'm leaving all the link in the description below, which you can use in your 125 journey of affiliate marketing. I hope you learned something from this one. Comment down below what you think about this method and see you in the next one.